infected cell, either a viral infected cell or cancer cell, displays an abnormal MHC1 and is targeted as non-self, the destruction begins. There are basically two types of destruction that take place. One is the release of cytotoxic molecules, such as tumor necrosis factor, also known as TNF, that are released from natural killer cell granule membranes that cause destruction of the cancer cell surface membranes. Another mechanism involves programmed cell death, termed apoptosis, that results in the destruction of the nuclear DNA of the cancer cell. Natural killer cells contain membrane vesicles called cytotoxic granules that package the enzymes that kill the cancer cells. The most important enzymes involved in the apoptosis event of cancer cell death are the pore forming protein called perforin and a set of proteases called granzymes. The activation of the natural killer cells causes the release of these vesicles from within the natural killer cells in which the contents are delivered directly into the surface of the target cell. The perforin proteins penetrate the cancer cell and create a cylindrical polyperforin pore through which the granzymes pass into the cytoplasm of the cancer cells. The process of cancer cell death initiated by the granzymes uses part of the same basic machinery that gives rise to programmed cell death, or apoptosis. In this application, one granzyme, granzyme B, activates a caspase, which then cleaves I-CAD, the inhibitor of caspase-activated DNA ACE. The active DNA ACE having its inhibitor I-CAD inactivated is now free to migrate into the nucleus and degrade the DNA. At this point, the cancer cell is destined for death, and the natural killer cell can migrate onwards to a new target cell.